Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at the Trade System Optimizer. We're going to take the results out to Excel and we're going to create a heat map with it. Currently I have a run that is finished here with 1500 iterations. We've iterated on four parameters, the MACD1, MACD2, the MACDA, and a moving average. When you do your TSO runs, your default for the max best results is 100. Make sure you set that to a value greater than the number of iterations that you are testing up for. Once the trade system optimizer is done, we can copy it out to Excel simply by left-clicking on the setup button. Copy all grid to the clipboard. And then in Excel, simply pasting that. Once the tables and column headings come into Excel, we want to go to Insert. This is Excel 2010. 2007 is going to be very similar to this. 2003 is a um, totally different uh, structure for pivot charts. We need to go to Pivot Table in the upper left hand corner, pick Pivot Chart. It just reiterates the range of data it's going to pull in. And then at this point now we're going to put the uh, chart together. We need to drag down the four different metrics that we um, optimized on. So MACD1 is going to go in the legend field, MACD2 legends field, MACDA axis field, and moving average axis field. The last thing we need to put in here now is the uh, um, statistic that we want to look at. In this case it will be total net profit. We'll drag that down to the sum of values field. Make sure that this comes in as sum of whatever statistic you want to look at. If it is not sum of, you'll have to change that over. The chart now shows um, a number of bars. We need to change the chart type. Left click on change chart type in the upper left hand corner. We're going to do a surface chart, and again it's going to be a flat heat map, or a contour chart. And this is what it comes out like. Simply um, looking at this we can see the different areas um, of the parameters that show the winning and losing values. On the y-axis we have the moving averages for the MACD, MACD1 and 2. And on the bottom here we have the moving average of the oscillator, MACDA, and the moving average. What we want to do is we want to find the hot spots, of course. We can see some of them are down in this quadrant. Our losing areas are up in the upper right-hand in the quadrant. To actually um, make this look a little bit better, you might want to move the metrics around. So I'm going to go ahead and move the MACD uh, moving average, move the moving average up here and we'll drag down the MACD1 and let's take the MACDA below that and so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, to gather the hot points in different uh, quadrants of the heat map you can see the most winning um, areas are down here in the lower left hand corner and a little bit up here in the right and then we got some winning areas here and again the way you read that the MACD1 are the numbers on the bottom of the x-axis and the MACDA are the ones closer into the chart. The MACD2 are the ones closer on the y-axis and the moving average values are on the far right hand side. You can also modify the statistics that you're going to look at instead of some of total net profit we can drag down the profit loss ratio. And we can see the higher profit loss ratios are up in the upper right hand quadrant. That is, uh, this is CQG Trade System Optimizer, um, bringing it into Excel for a heat map. Doug Jansen in Denver, 1-800-525-1085.